The meeting between President Bola Chinubu and labor union leaders to finalize the agreement on the minimum wage has been adjourned till next week. The meeting was adjourned after about one hour discussions at the presidential villa in Abuja. President of the Nigeria Labor Congress, Comrade Joe Ajero, has set the status quo on 250,000 Naira as minimum wage stands, while the federal government and organized private sector agreed on 62,000 Naira. President Bola Chinubu had said he needs time to consult with other stakeholders before sending the bill for the new minimum wage to the National Assembly. And to unpack this, I am joined by a public policy analyst, Jide Benson. Good morning. Glad to have you join me. It's okay like this. Boy, you can take your hand. Mr. Benson, can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. It's good to have you join me on the news. Uh, we understand the meeting between government stakeholders, organized private sector, and also trade union congress resulted in a deadlock. Is this something you anticipated or came as, uh, you know, what are your thoughts on, on it? I think that both sides still have a lot of work to do. Um, I never thought that it was going to be a final meeting. This is the first time the president is on the table with labor and the negotiation negotiating team. So far, it has been his um, his aides or the committees appointed to do so. So it's good that the president has finally decided to lead from the front on this issue. Um, there still will be some shifting of grounds. I'm certain, and I'm sure that this is something that the president would like to put behind him before long. Well, you said you, don't, you didn't see this as the final meeting. Why is that so? Oh, yes, because the, the request by Labour is very, it's very unlikely to be um, acceded to by the government. So I think that what the president wanted to do was to give the impression that, look, I am on this now, and let me put face to it so that they know that um, the memo hasn't gone down the pack of files on my table. So he wants. He wanted to hear. Don't forget that the president is a deft, uh, deft man in in every in many ways. So he would have wanted to hear from their horses' mouth and know how to take it further. Mm. What are your thoughts to people or critics saying this negotiation is taking longer than necessary? Uh, looking at how things have transpired in terms of reaching a consensus on what the new minimum wage will be. I quite agree with that. It's taking longer than necessary. And of course, it's part of the deftness that I referred to by the president. And it also tells you that labor, labor is not well put together, uh, whether it's the TUC or the NLC. What they have done is to have allowed this to get to this point in the first place. Negotiations for a new minimum wage ought to have started at about the time the old one was going to expire. So they waited, it expired. And the months after was when they realized they woke up from what you can refer to as a slumber. So I think they've been caught napping, and it's unlikely that they will, they will live with the long end of the stick. They, were, they declared a one-week strike. Nigerians rallied around them unusually for the first two days. They called it off. It was supposed to have been what, um, it's just not even a suspension. I can't remember the word that they used to describe it. And they were meant to go back on the streets or off work within a few days if the government did not um, accede to their request. And this is months after. Now, now, so it looks, about, like, so far, it looks hmm. like so far the government is waiting. Now, talking about re uh, requests and demands, what's the likelihood demands of labor will be met by the government? Or do you see the government shifting grounds in terms of the offer made? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm certain that the government will shift grounds. 62,000 naira is not it. So what they're doing is to bring labor, is to drag labor down as, as much as possible and then they can go up. I do not see that the government would remain at 62, but they will not go anywhere near the 250 that Labour has come down to. All right, thank you so much indeed. We have our ears and eyes on ground to see how things pan out next week, hopefully, in terms of negotiations about the new minimum wage. But thank you so much for your insight on the news. Gide Benson, uh, Public Affairs Analyst. Many thanks once again.